Hi, this is Aaron, and we're going to take this green screen behind me and turn it into something different, like this, using only iMovie from the iLife suite on your Mac. A lot of people didn't, don't even know that uh, iMovie has this capability, and uh, it does, and it's, it works quite well, and it's really easy to do. It doesn't have the adjustments or probably the quality of something like a Final Cut Pro or uh, Adobe After Effects, but it does a good job, especially for those that just want to mess around with a green screen, or uh, might want to just throw something together pretty quickly and don't care too much about it. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Mac and uh, show you how to do that. So here we are on the Mac. I've imported my footage, as you can see right here, and it's on the green screen, and we have a new project created. The first thing we need to do to enable green screen is go to iMovie and Preferences. Now under the General tab, we have Show Advanced Tools, and we need to turn that on. So just click that, and it puts a check mark, and you'll see it'll add some tools down here. Let's go ahead and close that. Now the first thing we need to do is determine the length of our, vi our, our video or our footage. Right here it's 43 seconds, and I'm going to use a stock background, but you can drag any background into the boxes up here. So let me grab this title and choose Industrial, as I tend to like that. Now if you look at it, it only says it has 4 seconds of footage. So let's double click that, look again, and we need to use, uh, I believe it was 43 seconds, and we're going to change our footage let me move it over here. We're going to change our footy, footage <laughs> to uh, match. So we're going to go from here to 43 seconds. And you'll see it just extended the title. Now let's go ahead and delete that title. Just click on it and hit the delete key. So now we just have a stock industrial background. We want to take this footage, and you can select it all by holding Command A, or you could just double click it and drag it on top and what we'll get is a menu that says uh, gives us some new options and in here we'll see green screen so click green screen and you can see it's taken out the background and replaced it with industrial but because I didn't have a perfectly lit or perfectly flat and ironed uh, green screen behind me we get some waves up in here so one thing that's very important when you're doing the screen screen footage in iMovie is at the end leave a few frames where you're not in front of the video if you can see here I walk off the video and I'm not there anymore and the reason we want to do that is we're going to double click onto our footage I'm sorry not that footage our footage up here that's on the green screen and in the inspector what we'll see is background subtract last frame and what this does is look at the last frame and look at what's different we're gonna click this click done and voila there you have it there's nothing in the background anymore and it did a pretty good job it's really that simple there are some more options you could go into the video and play with the green levels if you have some issues you can see how my hair changes it kinda shrinks as I take the green out of it if I just set that back, it seems to do a pretty good job by itself. So let me go ahead and play this again for you. X, but it does a good job, especially for those that just and want to you can see a little bit of maybe some tearing around the hair. That gets cleaned up a little bit once you export the movie. So that's really all you need to do. So go ahead and try that for yourself and uh, let me know or show me how it turns out. This is Aaron. We'll see you next time.